Hi everyone, it's Pokedan Sada here. Welcome back to our educational video series. And today we we'll walk into a new tutorial about how to unbond dot tokens in preparation for crowd loans. But first, we give you an overview of crowd loan. Let's go. A crowd loan is a funding mechanism that allows dot holders to support a project by locking their tokens until the end of the lease of the slot. The project project can use these tokens to pay for a project slot and network for duration of the lease, up to 96 weeks on Polkadot, after which point, the original DOT tokens are returned to the contributors. To contribute to a crowd loan campaign, we need to make sure our DOT tokens are transferable and therefore available. If we have nominated validators on the Polkadot network, those state tokens will be locked unless we have explicitly unbonded them. Unlocking them is a two-step process. Step 1. Unstaking stops all ongoing nominations. This means the corresponding dot balance is available to stake with other validators, but it's not yet available to be transferred. This is referred to as being bonded. Step 2. Unbonding starts in bonding of the corresponding balance. During this unbonding period, 28 days for Polkadot, our dot tokens do not earn rewards and are illiquid. Once this step is complete, the tokens will be transferable. And in this tutorial, we go through the process of how to check if our tokens are ready to contribute to a crowd loan, and if not, how to unstake or unbond them to have them ready. Let's go! To begin, enter through this link and ensure we're connected to Polkadot in the top left corner. Once the app is connected, we can take the following steps. First is hover over the accounts tab, then select the accounts option, and then expand the balance information. Then the lock dot balance, if any, will be displayed here. When we hover over information icon, it should display information related to a type block. And for this example, it's staking. We can see now three balances, transferable, locked, and bonded. The balance that show as transferable can be used to contribute to a crowd loan campaign. However, the balances that shown as either locked or bonded because the staking cannot be used. The following sections will take us through a step-by-step -step guide on how we can unstake and unbond our locked dot. Let's check it out. Well, if we have locked dot tokens as previously shown, we can directly unstake and unbond them using a single action, which is unbond funds. Unbonding takes 28 days on Polkadot. First, we need to head to the staking options, and to do so, take the following steps. First one, hover over the network tab, and then select the staking option. This will load the staking overview window, and in here navigate to the cow actions tab, from which we manage everything related to our cow staking. And there is an important prerequisite to unbonding that applies only if we are unbonding all of a dot in the stash. If we're only unbonding a portion of our dot, we we'll skip ahead to the next section. But if we're unbonding an entire stash of our dot, we'll first need to stop or chill our nominations. To do so, we we'll take the following steps. First, click on All Stashes. Look at the stash you want to chill and click on the Stop button. Then, submit a section. These actions will initiate a transaction wizard titled Unbond Funds, in which we need to set the amount dot tokens we want to unbond, or click on the All Bonded slider to unstake and unbond our entire dot balance, and then click on Unbond. Next up, sign and submit the transaction. If we are using a ledger, verify the transaction and approve it on the device. And after the transaction is confirmed, our unbonding period will start. 28 days on a Polkadot network. And to check the status of our unbonding, take the following steps. Hover over the Chaos tab and select the Chaos option, expand the balance information, and then bond dot balance will be displayed here, and if you hover over the information icon, it will display the unbonding time remaining. Once the bonding lock expires, we need to submit another transaction to withdraw the funds manually. And after the unbonding time expires, we can withdraw our lock tokens. And to do so, head to the Chaos tab and take the following steps. Expand the balance information, and then click on the lock icon. This will initiate the transaction wizard to withdraw the bonded funds. And after the transaction is confirmed, 
our log token should now be added to the transferable balance. And that's it, we have successfully unstayed and unbonded our DOT tokens. And that's for today's video about how to unbond DOT tokens in preparation for crowd loans. And if you really enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, share, subscribe to Pocket Insider for more insightful videos. Bye, see you next time.